Hi guys, Heather here. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things, sugar. But unfortunately it's not brownies or ice cream. It's actually another term for sugar called glucose. And glucose is part of the basic metabolic panel. It's a lab that's commonly drawn in patients in the hospital. I have some other Chem 7 videos that I posted last October if you guys haven't checked those out yet. Dangles McNasty really wanted me to talk about glucose. Hi there! So glucose is the amount of sugar in a person's blood. And normal levels are 70 to 110 pre-eating and less than 180 post-eating. Well, that's what I learned in nursing school anyways, and I'm sticking to it. Even though Wikipedia says normal glucose levels before eating is 90 to 130, who really knows? Maybe it's 80 to 120. It's somewhere around there though. If a patient is hypoglycemic with a blood sugar of less than 70, we usually have to call the doctor, and if they're alert and allowed to eat, we can give them orange juice, followed by milk and crackers. But if the patient is not responsive or not allowed to eat, don't try to feed them anything or they might aspirate and then you'll get in trouble. Instead, you will be giving D50 IV, which is sugar water, into the vein. Some signs of hypoglycemia are some that we've all experienced at one point. Irritability, shaking, sweating, lethargy, and in severe cases, coma and possible brain damage. I had a family member tell me that his dad had a blood sugar of 11 once. I don't even know if that's possible. Who knows? Hyperglycemia is anything above those levels. So in our hospital, if the patient's blood sugar is above 130, then they get a nice little injection of insulin. We use the insulin sliding scale in the hospital, so you give so many units of insulin per range of blood sugar. Like if the blood sugar is 250 to 300, you'll give six units of insulin. If it's 300 to 350, you'll give eight units of insulin. So it's kind of like that. Usually we call the doctor if the blood sugar is over 400. Last night I had a patient with a blood sugar of over 600, so he got 15 units of insulin. A lot of patients in the hospital have high blood sugars from diabetes or obesity. Temporary elevated sugars are a result of illnesses, stroke, heart attack, severe stress, surgery, or an anti-inflammatory drug called solumedrol, which is commonly used in the hospital. Well, that's the skinny on blood glucose. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.